Hey everybody, this is Rock Hunter Mark. Just want to show you some things in my arrowhead room. I have a fossils right here. Uh, check it out, it's crinoid. These are the stems of the animal. These are the head. The head usually don't get fossilized because they're softer and they take they rot away too fast. Where the stem is harder and it gets fossilized easier. crinoids from the Paleozoic era. Hey, this is another fossilized bed that I found, rock bed, of crinoids. Here's the stem of the, the animal, and then this is a cross section of it. When you find a cry, round crinoid, it's the most common way to find them. And the stem, they put them together and it makes a stem. I love fossils. Found this in Missouri. Um, if you need to go, want to go find crinoids, you need to look in rock outcroppings for these little circles, these little rings. And once you find those, you'll find the stems. So, and limestone. Here's some individual crinoids that I found. You can see the little layers. And it's, that's a circle end, and then that, that's the same thing. Then here's one. Here's a crinoid. Here's a crinoid with a star center. Sometimes they're a little more elaborate. Really cool. Look at some of the close-ups of these. Really like the star center hole. It's fun to find. This is a long, long crinoid. It's these things just. That's that sideways. I love fossil hunting. I hope to do a lot of more in the future and catch it on video. Cry noise. Here's some more fossils. Here's some horned corals. And a whole row of horned corals. And red horned corals. See, it looks like a horn. These have just been tumbled in the river. Here's two brachiopod geodes, which were shells with fossil geodes created in the caverns of them. It's a brachiopod. Here's a fern. I'm going to be having uh, some more of those coming up in the future. Coral. Here's trilobite. where it's had against the other rock. It's, it's a nice fossil. 
I'm founded in Grafton, Illinois. Popular place. There's a beauty. Spiral, awesome. There's another little snail looking thing. I believe this is the top of coral. It's, it's pockmarked. Some people have a phobia against pockmarks. It really creeps them out. I can see why. Right there, and then here's two turtle butts. They're not fossilized, but they're, they're lovely turtle butts. And then here's a wild boar. Wild boar skull found in the woods in Oklahoma. These are wild boar teeth that came out of a skull like this. The, the skull rotted. There's another star in the crinoid. It's filled in. Brachypods. Which are shelled. These are horned coral that I found in the river arrowed hunting. They're exciting to find. Here's a fossil a crinoid. There's a cross section and a long cross section. It looks like a cyclops. This is a cool uh, crinoid bed. I was happy to find that. Ooh, um, it's darker. Fossils are really a lot of fun to find. Makes arrow hunting a little funner. I, I sometimes go just fossil hunting. This is the floor of my arrowhead room. I have all my crude tools, my pitted hammer stones, they have pits in them, used for nutting stones or grinding and different applications. They have a dip, they have a little dip in them. This one's polished. Is it, is silicates in the soil. Polish it up. Here's a big, big pit. This is called a pitted hammer stone. It it it, uh, it was used for nuts and different th things. It's really unknown exactly what they are used for. You can only guess. They have geodes. More pitted hammer stones. We're this way. Grinding tools. This this here was worked all the way around the edge. Both sides, there's a little dip right there, a little dip right there, found in the field with arrowheads. So they use it for something, mainly grinding and crushing nuts and whatever else they can figure out to you. Dip, there's a dip on each side of that one. There's a nice dip. These are flint knives and choppers and cutting tools and their tool they they need to use for and this is this is a crude tool but it was definitely worked the Indians flaked it off each side it's real sharp the crude cutting tools they'd either have this hafted or hold it by hand and uh, do whatever they need to do in everyday life cutting and Chopping leather and animals and cleaning the animals up. Different cutting tools. It's called an ads. It's a more refined cutting tool. Here's one with cortex still on it. It's the skin of the rock, the original rock they popped the flint off of. That's a beauty tool.
a mortar, a grinded dish, where they ground their corn or whatever they had to eat. And then here's a pounder pedestal where they did from a different site, but it's crude, but it's definitely an Indian artifact. I had fun carrying this one out of the field 35 years ago. The reason I know this isn't natural is because the whole end is rounded. Rounded, and it's, it's shaped. It's a shaped rock. It's granite. It's really heavy. So they used either end and they'd sit there and grind on on this. This is this is smooth right here. It's been ground smooth. This hasn't been used a whole bunch to where it's polished though. So they, they were still in the making making of making it. This one was used really a whole bunch. It's a deep dip. Found with arrowheads. Here's one with a big dip and a little dip right here. Turn it over, it's just smooth. It feels like it's been ground. This has several dips in it. It could have been used to hold the top stick to making a fire on a bow drill. It's hard to say what it was used for. Pretty hard sandstone. Looks like granite. nutting stones hey guys thanks for watching the video be sure to press like or subscribe and the bell button will give you future notifications thanks for watching